The vote in 22 days until the election, 10 days since President Trump tweeted that he was diagnosed with coronavirus. He's back now. You can see it there. His rally in Sanford, Florida is underway, not far from Orlando. It's his first official campaign stop since he left the hospital following his COVID diagnosis. The White House doctor has cleared the president, saying that he could hold public events as of Saturday. And as I mentioned earlier, his doctor says the president has had two days of testing negative for COVID-19 in a row. That said, here are some facts. The CDC recommends that people with COVID-19 refrain from being around people for 10 days after symptoms first appear. That includes 24 hours with no fever without the use of fever-reducing medications. The CDC reports people with more severe symptoms could be infectious for 20 days after symptoms begin. Jeff Bennett at the president's rally in Central Florida now. Jeff. Hey, Shep, good evening. President Trump began his remarks here on the rally stage behind me, saying he was heartened and humbled by the prayers he's received during his recovery from COVID-19. He then quickly pivoted to the usual attack lines that we've heard from the president on campaign stages just like this one. President Trump is keeping up a fairly aggressive campaign schedule this, just this week, in fact. A rally tonight in Florida. He then heads to Pennsylvania, then Iowa, then North Carolina, then back here to Florida. And his trip here coincided with the new memo from the White House physician, Sean Connolly, saying that President Trump has now tested negative. The White House has, as you know, for days refused to say precisely what President Trump's status was. Was he testing positive or negative? And we still don't know when the president last tested negative before he was infected. But the president back on the campaign trail, hoping to jumpstart his campaign now that most polls show him trailing Joe Biden nationally and in those key battleground states. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.